Hey, so I'm blown one of these, and so I thought this is an opportune moment because basically, what well, you can see, um, see the unit there. Um, this is the top, obviously, rather, and then this is the uh, the actual IGBT. Now this one's blown, and uh, you can actually physically see it now because you can see right into the die. Let's get a decent. Uh, IRS shot of that. Look at that baby. Uh, let's get a bit more light on it and then you can, you can get a bit more inside it. Look at that beastie. So you can see here. Yeah, so you can see in this, uh, this element is obviously blown, if it'll focus, there you go. So you can see how the mm, screwdriver, that's good. Uh, you can see here we've got obviously stuff that's gone on here and here. And that's basically caused a bubble. This is, uh, this is goo, as you can uh, maybe see now. And uh, let's, uh, let's just... Uh, See, you can see there's goo there, basically, that's on the top. And this is the same goo um, that um, Tesla put in their stuff. And so we've got it here, so you can obviously see that's where it's blown. Yeah. Um, it was when I was running at high voltage, I think it's probably just because it's over because you can see it's not like completely destroyed or anything, I think it just got a bit too hot. And so areas uh, where there's sort of slight blemishes. Oh, and you can see obviously there's uh, there's something gone on there as well in the middle. This one's okay, and this one's okay, and on this side we've obviously got something happen there, but this one's okay, and so's this. And in actual fact, what I could do if I really really wanted to, and I was really um, kind of <clears throat> if you like short, um, I could actually disconnect that one by severing all of these little connections here so that it wasn't in line the diodes okay this so the all right just to, so that it's clear because this is one of the uh one of the dies and if i hold it there so there's obviously three like you've got three vertical stripes of components there and um the um let me just hold this all right okay so here we go so this is a diode i think and so's this and so's that and these are the IGBT arrays. Okay, so each one of those really is supposed to handle 200 amps. Now, these two guys, they're actually okay, but this one's gone. All right, and it looks like it's got a short there through to its, uh, its, um, him, its emitter collector short. So what, what this wire is here, this wire that's coming along here, that's going up to the top here, this is the gate, and there's another one there. That's the gate. And so you can see there's three gates there connected up to the gate circuit, which is here. And then you've got the IGBT there. Yeah, and it uh, looks like there's actually four elements. So that's a 200 amp one. So each one of those actually handles, oops, sorry, here we go again. Each one of these handles 50 amps, I think. And they're all wired in parallel. And so we've got a breach here, you see. So it is possible that I could sever that gate line and then cut all of those tracks along there and actually take that one out of the equation then that means I'd have a 400 amp one instead of a 600 but I'd still have this diode, this will still work as well and then on this side obviously this is the destroyed one here so again I could cut that one out of the picture by severing all of these um, lines here possibly I'm quite sure about that uh, oh right I see so this is because they're connected over the top and so I'd have to if I, I had have to sever the lines here, right, which is for the uh, IGBT, which also conducts across the diode, right, because they're in parallel, these devices are in parallel. This one here, you can see there's a bridge connection across here, so if I just cut those lines through there, then I still have the back EMF diode, you see. So I could actually make this one work, and in actual fact, and this is the ironic thing, is I actually have got three and then three, so actually that could be um, rewired, and I believe they do this, where that could be rewired as an actual um, inverter set because you've got three, uh, three of each. 
<clears throat> but this is actually wired up as a half bridge with the three in parallel you see so you could have like that would be a complete inverter at 200 amps um, but instead they're all wired in parallel here in arrays so that's a 600 amp half bridge instead a full inverter is basically three half bridges um, yeah so that's how it is and you can actually just simply you could take this off and actually inspect it and in actual fact I probably will uh, but uh, yeah that's uh, so you can see there's these arrays of wires that basically connect the pins and on this side you can see how there's two arrays aren't they both connecting yeah so how does that work you see because we've got two sets that are connecting there ah oh, here we are right so the this is uh, so these two are the output side and you can see they're actually connected in parallel yeah and that's why really you should connect both of those although I wasn't at the moment I was only actually connecting one you you, you really could connect both of those in line okay uh, yeah and then on this side um, these are the two inputs, positive and negative. I think, uh, yeah, I think this one's the positive side, and that's the negative side. Yeah, they can't give you a half bridge. This is, this is basically one. The three are connecting in parallel to make one IGBT there, and another one here, and that's how the half bridge is set up. There you see, that's pretty good. That. Hmm. So I zoomed out short. There we go.